Good morning, I'm Paul with the Seidel Diesel Group. Today we're going to take a turbocharger apart, show you what it looks like inside, kind of give you an idea of how it works. So this is a Garrett turbocharger that's originally fitted to a, a Ford 6 liter engine in a pickup truck. Um, so this is, uh, this is the compressor side of things. Uh, the air comes in here <coughs> and then uh, the, the turbine wheel, uh, I'm sorry, the compressor wheel turns and pushes the, the pressurized air out here and it goes into the engine. So this is the compressor side of things. This is the turbine side of things. It's a little hotter, so this is cast iron. Uh, the compressor side of things is uh, aluminum. So we have our exhaust gases coming in here. They turn the, uh, the turbine wheel and then exhaust out here. This is a variable geometry turbocharger. So we can move, uh, we can change how these exhaust gases strike the turbine wheel through this, uh, this variable geometry actuator and through the vanes that are inside here. So uh, that acts as, uh, we, we, so we can modify the turbo boost. We can also increase our exhaust back pressure to, uh, um, to manipulate the exhaust gas recycling. So we're first gonna take the compressor housing off So this is the compressor housing and the compressor wheel. Again, the air comes in here, is compressed by this compressor wheel, turning this way, and then it goes into the, the flute here and then out to the engine. It's, it's carved this way so that uh, that'll facilitate the flow of the air through it. So <clears throat> next we're gonna take the, uh, the turbine housing off. So this is the compressor side of the housing. This is the compressor wheel. That, uh, that, that takes the exhaust gases from this side and turns, the, uh, turns this wheel, which is connected to this shaft, which creates the pressure on the other side. Now this particular turbocharger has a unison wheel that's here. The problem with this turbocharger is this unison wheel is locked up to the housing. So it's not able to turn these vanes like it should in order to uh, change, the, uh, change the pressures, uh, change the exhaust back pressures. So that's the problem with this turbocharger is this unison wheel is stuck to the housing. Yeah, that unison ring is supposed to move when this piece here turns and it's just stuck on there. All of your new Garrett turbochargers will have improvements on here so that this doesn't happen again. So this unison ring should be just as free as anything moving back and forth, but this is what I have to do to get it off. So that's a problem. And it works on these and moves them. That's how it works. And if you could see inside there, our exhaust gases are coming through here and we actually change the way that they're going to hit the turbine wheel by moving these. When that stops moving, we lose control of the turbocharger, we lose power, we can't control our back pressure, and, uh, and the turbocharger needs to be replaced. So once again, we have our turbine wheel and shaft connected to the uh, compressor. So we're going to take that apart now. And it is left hand threads so that it doesn't loosen up in operations. So this is the compressor wheel. This is the turbine shaft.
this is the compressor wheel, or I'm sorry, this is the turbine wheel and shaft combination. And these are the bearings. These are floating bearings so that they're, 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 they spin in there, but sometimes they'll lock up and, uh, and, and cause some damage. So this has some coking up in here, which, uh, which may cause a leak eventually. That's it, we've got it apart. Thank you for your time today.